Just a simple barcode like this, we all see them, we see them every day of our lives. What's interesting about this one is it actually gets attached to the fish, in this case salmon, and when you receive them or buy the salmon as a consumer, maybe even eat it in a restaurant, you can scan this, which will still be attached to the fish, and find out where it's from, what all its brothers and sisters and relations are doing, and where they're moving around. I'm joined by Renee here, who, who's very much involved in this. We are developing a system to trace salmon. So the salmon are born in rivers and they go out in the ocean, mm -hmm. but you don't know where, which river they're from. Right. So what we do is we have the salmon collect a fin clip. You mean the fishermen? The fishermen, the salmon fishermen, right. collect a fin clip, and then we use a fin clip in genetics to identify which river the fish is from. And then this information goes into a database that we've developed for traceability. When the salmon, land, when the salmon is landed on the fishing vessel, the fisherman attaches this barcode to the jaw of the salmon, just using a simple zip tie. Mm -hmm. And then this information is entered into our database system. The salmon fin clips come to the lab, we do the genotyping, the fish goes to the market, and then this unique barcode can be looked up by a consumer on our website. Now we get, say, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, maybe 5,000 fish over a fisheries season. Right. All this information is accessible to fisheries managers. And fisheries managers can find out which rivers, like which, which stocks are moving around in the ocean at what times and use that information for fisheries management. What's the incentive for me as a commercial fisherman? What's my incentive to actually go and do this? This is time consuming. Right? It is time consuming and there's a small dollar compensation at this point in time for the salmon fishermen to participate. Okay. But they also get to collect their own data and data is power. If Absolutely. you have the power, you have your data, then you have a say in how the data is used. And you know if you collect good data and provide good data back to fisheries managers, you're going to have a better fisheries management overall. Can you demonstrate this barcode thing? There you go. And here you go. This fish was caught off the coast of Newport by Jeff Feldner. His vessel is the Granville. He caught it last May. The species is Chinook. So he that's the chap that caught That's the fisherman that caught the fish. So this is the fisherman's profile. It's a chance for him to tell his story. The fishermen are the last gatherers from a wild food source. I often tend to feel <clears> that they're ignored. Not ignored, because they're not ignored. But they're underappreciated. They're totally underappreciated. Absolutely. They're going out and they bust their butts. It's their livelihoods. It I mean, is, it's absolutely. Not a, right. Very educational. The, the data is badly needed and the fishermen are more appreciated. Yep, absolutely.